What's up YouTube? So if you're watching this video, you're obviously interested in this next crazy build we've got going on. You saw our unboxing video, I'll put that up above. We unboxed this newest ride-on that just came out. It's a 24 volt monster jam and we are taking it to the next level. All right guys, so we unboxed it. We saw some room for major improvements and I'm just gonna basically, I'm excited. I'm gonna get right into it. So what we've done at first is we've taken these stock shocks that were literally stiff as boards. They're, each one is 100 pounds. And what we did is we took these cabinet uh, struts and we robbed parts from our X-Max and we're building shocks like this. I ordered some different um, spring shocks, but this is what we've got. So it's got some serious travel. And um, it's awesome, but it messed up the geometry because we made it such a, a high ride height. It changed the uh, caster angle. So we're gonna have to do, redo the whole suspension, which isn't a big deal because we've got RC already installed. And I'm gonna do a video on a stage one, like RC, that's my most asked question on our channel is RC, you know, how to help. So this is for the, the DIYer that isn't gonna wanna do all wheel steering and four wheel drive. So I kinda wanted to leave this and do a video on that, but this is the update on this build. So um, what we have is a four inch linear actuator and it works good, but it tilted the front um, spindle angle so that it just doesn't work right. It doesn't steer great. And I'll talk about that further, but we gave it this massive ride height increase, nice plus suspension because this is RC. It's not going to have a kid in it. So if you guys are going to have a kid, you might have to double up or triple up and change the spring rate. I mean, you're going to have to do some stuff. So suspension, got it figured out. Now this is the guts. Yeah. So what this is, is a Sabertooth dual 60 amp ESC, because yes, we are gonna have four 775 motors in here. So you've gotta kinda plan for that. Right now it's got stock motors, stock gearboxes, but we're gonna swap all that stuff over. Um, right now we got these Amazon motors, and we're gonna, that's gonna be the stage two, is switching out to these faster speed motors. So we're gonna do tons of videos on this, stock speed with a GPS, and then we're gonna put those motors in. And if we're not happy with those, we're gonna put our favorite motors in, those VEX Pros. And we are gonna switch out to these taller tires. These are from a Jeep Hurricane. And the cool thing is, is the stage five or six or whatever, we're gonna take the Hurricane rim and we're gonna put rubber tires and tubes on it. So that's gonna be the stance of it. And we're gonna do full four link suspension so that it gets some articulation, kind of like a, a crawler. We want to have literally some good articulation. So that's what's coming up guys, so stay tuned for that. But check this out. Um, what we did is we took the stock switch that uh, turns on the sound effects, what we talked about in the video, and you turn that on and it activates the relay, which gives it power from these upgraded lithium iron phosphate batteries. And we're using the Spectrum DX5 Rugged because it has steering mixing. Because check it out, my little assistant here. Uh, give it some steering. So there's the front suspension steering. And then there's the back. Uh, we're waiting on the four inch travel. All we had in stock was a two inch. So you can see that it's gonna have four different modes of steering. There's like crab crawl. Okay, so what is all wheel steering? It means that you've got an actuator on the back and on the radio, it has a mode for reverse phase. Go ahead and do that. And then same phase. And it'll allow you to do crazy things. Go ahead and go forward. That 
that's crab crawl, and then just do reverse phase, and it'll allow you to do like tight little turns. That's like monster truck stuff. And uh, it's got dual linear actuator control boards, one for the front, one for the back. And we tried to get the servos and the servo lack boards to operate off of this uh, step down converter and it just wasn't happy. So that had to come out. So we, right now we've got just a temporary 12 volt battery for the lack board and the linear actuators. We'll probably switch it out to a LiPo and we can go up to 24 volts, which will give it faster um, motor turning speed. So I, I don't know. Another thing we've done is it had this little black button here with like a metal plate. That was a perfect spot for the um, charge port. So we've got 24 volt lithium iron phosphates. We added a charge port and we've got this cool lithium iron phosphate smart charger. See it right there? Life PO4. Uh, it can do multiple different um, amps. So we can do 5 amp, 8 amp, and 10 or 15 amp it looks like. So it'll really charge these guys up fast. Um, then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to tap into the stock control board so that um, these aren't the right ones. Amazon's been coming to my house like every day and uh, I ordered the wrong ones but we're going to tap into here so that when you touch this to the uh, completes the circuit it'll do it with the remote control so that will tie in to the receiver here and then the other sound box get my assistant to do that for me you touch those two together so we can do that by pushing a button on the radio system so that is pretty much it guys. It's exciting because it's gonna be all wheel steering, fully four link suspension. It's gonna be epic. I am super excited to be back into doing these crazy builds. So um, that being said, we're gonna put this thing together and take it for its first test drive.
Well, I feel like that was a pretty successful test drive made in Voyage. We knew that the steering was going to be kind of off with the uh, reversed caster. But hey, stay tuned for other videos of this crazy build. It's going to get wild, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do what? Subscribe. And then hit that like button if you like the video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.